assalamu alaikum to all my students of class 9 my name is miss nodin and today i will conduct experiment number 2 in your science lab first of all i inform you we already perform experiment number 1 in the month of july and today i will start experiment number 2 and this experiment include in the month of august first of all students uh, it is your biology practical book the author of this book is zaheer ahmed now first of all before starting experiment number 2 we should know our object what is our object of experiment number 2 to identify the system in the given dissected frog and draw a label diagram of the system and describe the function of the organs so students what is main object of experiment number 2 to identify the system in the given dissected frog first of all we identify system then we describe different structure and function of the organs now students look at this picture in this picture you can visible dissected frog This dissected frog is present in the jar. If you can see this picture, in this picture you can easily visible pair of lungs. It is balloon shape structure can visible in dissected frog. this balloon shape structure is called lungs the pair of lungs is present in the dissected frog look at this 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 structure is balloon like like a balloon another structure it is balloon shape this structure is called lungs in the dissected frog pair of lungs is present the presence of pair of lungs indicate the presence of pulmonary respiratory system okay students you can easily visible pair of lungs in the dissected frog you can see this these are pair of lungs indicate the presence of pulmonary respiratory system now we discuss first of all what is pulmonary respiratory system after identifying the pair of lungs in the dissected frog this pair of lungs indicate the pulmonary respiratory system in the dissected frog what is the pulmonary respiration pulmonary respiration means when frog respire through the lungs this type of respiration is called pulmonary respiration different types of respiration found in the lungs in which pulmonary respiration means frog respire by lungs through lungs this type of respiration in which lungs frog respire by lungs is called pulmonary respiration 
now students you can easily identify this system by the presence of pair of lungs now first of all we discuss what is respiration respiration is a process in which food is oxidized as a result of which energy is released while carbon dioxide and water are produced as a by product wo process jisme aapka food oxidize hota hai oxidize hone ke baad aapki body ke andar energy release karta hai aur aapki body se carbon dioxide aur water jo hai wo as a by product ke taur pe release hoti hai ye process respiration kehla a frog ke andar there are three main types of respiration found in frog number 1 pulmonary respiration number 2 cutaneous respiration number 3 buccal cavity respiration now in experiment number 2 we discuss only pulmonary respiration we already discuss what is pulmonary respiration when frog respire by the lungs is called pulmonary respiration what is the main organs of pulmonary respiration structure now we study structure and function of various organs of pulmonary respiratory system pulmonary respiratory system of frog consists of following organs number 1 external and internal nostril number 2 buccal cavity number 3 laryngeal tracheal chamber number 4 bronchi and number 5 a pair of lungs so students i can only you can easily see pair of lungs in this picture this pair of lungs found in the dissected frog this pair of lungs indicate the presence of pulmonary respiration in frog okay now we study their structures first structure is called external and internal nostril what is external and internal nostril look at this picture in this picture this opening in is visible it is called external nostril and inside opening is called internal nostril you can easily visible external and internal nostril it is an external nostril because it is present outside it is internal nostril it is present its opening is present inside it is internal nostril what is the main function of in external and internal nostril it is a passage for air it can pass air and this air after passing this external and internal nostril enter into the buccal cavity okay now second part is buccal cavity we already discussed buccal cavity what is the main function of buccal cavity buccal cavity internal nostril open into the cavity is called buccal cavity in this buccal cavity two jaws present upper and lower jaws and between these jaws a tongue is also present okay students this is buccal cavity this is buccal cavity what is the main function of buccal cavity it can pass air from external and internal nostril air is passed 
air passed from external and internal nostril and enter into the buccal cavity and this buccal cavity also pass this air so it is a passage for passing of air okay now third part of pulmonary respiratory system is laryngeotracheal chamber what is laryngeotracheal chamber what is the main function of laryngeotracheal chamber it act as a passage of air it can pass air and produce sound in the frog okay now look at this picture and this picture you can easily visible laryngeotracheal chambers now this is buccal cavity and lower side of buccal cavity this chamber is visible this chamber is called laryngeotracheal chamber what is the main function of laryngeotracheal chamber it act as a passage of air and produce sound in the frog now fourth part of pulmonary respiratory system is bronchi what is bronchi laryngeotracheal chamber divides into two branches this two branches is called bronchus each bronchus open into the lungs of present each side of the heart of frog okay look at this picture students in this picture you can easily visible bronchus in this picture you can easily visible bronchus this is laryngeotracheal chamber this is laryngeotracheal chamber this laryngeotracheal chamber act as a passage of air and this laryngeotracheal chamber is divided into two branch now see dekhiye ye divide ho raha hai two branches ke andar and this two branch is called bronchus okay what is the function of bronchus it act as passage of air okay this two branches on the end of this two branches pair of lungs are visible in the inner side of this pair of lungs many sac like structure is visible this is sac this is air sac because air after passing air into bronchus it enter into the lungs in the lungs this chamber is visible these are called air chambers because and these chambers are called alveoli through these chambers exchange of gases takes place between frog and the environment for example when air into the lungs inside the lungs air chambers visible known as alveoli this alveoli and air chamber absorb oxygen they given oxygen and release carbon dioxide from the lungs 
so this exchange of gases takes place through alveoli of the lungs okay we already discussed lungs what are lungs these are balloon shaped structure and they are present on the either side of the heart of the frog what are the main function of lungs inside the lungs air sac chamber is present and this chamber is called alveoli through this alveoli exchange of gases takes place for example oxygen is absorbed and carbon dioxide is given out from the lungs this exchange of gases takes place through alveoli it is a process of respiration in which exchange of gases takes place through the lungs this kind of respiration is called pulmonary respiration and this system is made up of different structures like glottis laryngeal tracheal chambers bronchus bronchioles blood capillaries lungs this all structure are made up of pulmonary respiratory system of frog what is glottis glottis is the opening of laryngeal tracheal chamber into the buccal cavity because there is no neck of frog that's why this laryngeal tracheal chamber through glottis open into buccal cavity through this glottis air into the laryngeal tracheal chamber then it pass from bronchus this branch is called bronchus inside the lungs different capillaries visible blood capillaries visible in which blood flow when air enter into the lungs this air taking oxygen from the air this lung absorb oxygen from the air and given out carbon dioxide from the lungs this exchange of gases change of gases oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place through the alveoli this alveoli is a air sac chamber and it is present inside the lungs okay students i hope you all understand experiment number 2 now discuss how do you can work in your registers now first of all you write experiment number then you write their object and second heading you write identification then study of various organ of pulmonary respiration and this organ we also discuss in this practical this is lining page and this lining page is used only for written work okay study of various organ of pulmonary respiration in which lungs bronchi bronchus lungs larynx hyoid cartilage this all headings you can write down in your lining page external and internal nostril is all headings you should write down in your lining page after write all this heading you can draw diagram structure of lungs this diagram you can also draw in your blank page this is blank page and after written 
all work in your lining page you can do diagram structure of lungs in the blank page then it is another diagram in this diagram you can easily visible lungs and in this diagram internal structure of lungs you can easily visible these two diagrams you can draw in your practical journal okay students allah hafiz